Okay, so welcome to the Bookmap platform details. Risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss, is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. So uh, in this webinar, we're gonna go through uh, some of the details in the platform as, as you can see from the title uh, and uh, how you can, um, uh, some of the, the resources here in Bookmap, I just wanted to point to them. So let's, uh, let's do that. Uh, and then ask questions. Uh, any questions that you have about the uh, software, uh, I'll go through in detail. Okay, so uh, go to bookmap.com. Let's click on explore. Uh, there's some intro videos up here. They're very short. I, I would recommend watching those. It'll give you a good overview of what Bookmap has to offer. Uh, and um, then uh, let's go down to the pricing tab here. Okay. Uh, and... Um, this is where you can find Bookmap if you want to give it a try. Now you get a 14-day trial period. Okay, there's a basic. There's two versions only, uh, basic and advanced. Okay, 49 per month, 99 per month. Build quarterly. Okay, you do. You get the 14-day trial period with either of them, though. Doesn't matter. Uh, and the differences between the two are mainly the add-ons and the ability to trade from the chart. So the one-click trading. Uh, and then these uh, add-ons that are a little different than uh, uh, your uh, typical indicators. Uh, they go more in depth to uh, order flow uh, type of uh, indicators looking for imbalances or uh, larger players, uh, iceberg detectors, et cetera. Okay, now there's two other versions here. This is the basic and advanced. It's the same as over here. Uh, it's just packaged with the DX feed. Now, the DX feed is for equities only. It's not for futures. Uh, and the DX feed, uh, you will not be able to trade uh, live uh, if you have that bookmap advanced version. Uh, you, you won't be able to uh, 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 trade from the chart um, into a funded account. You can trade in SIM, but you cannot trade in a funded. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Felix. Welcome back, Felix. I think you've been in here uh, last week. Um, you want to see CL? Okay, yeah, we'll take a look. Uh, we'll see how CL is moving as well. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, uh, that's the DX feed. Uh, it's only U.S. equities. It's not for futures. You can get a 14-day trial period of it as well. Uh, however, uh, it's going to be delayed data. So if you want the live uh, equities feed, uh, it's 59 a month. Okay. Now you can um, you can do the uh, trial and then just uh, uh, purchase it and you'll you'll get the um, uh, the live uh, U.S. equities feed. Now you don't need to have the package deal here to get it. Uh, you can also subscribe to it in basic or advanced uh, if you're using it for futures right now. Okay. All right. Um, let's go through some of the resources. Uh, once you become a member uh, in the Bookmap portal. Uh, there's all sorts of videos and education uh, features here to take a look at. Uh, let's go into uh, our Twitter feed. You can follow us on Twitter. Uh, you'll get the most up-to-date information here. Uh, and then um, uh, here uh, is our YouTube page. Okay, so if you're new uh, and uh, reaching out to anyone, anyone new here uh, in the room, just taking a look at some of the names here. <coughs> Looks like there might be a few of you guys who are new. Okay, so uh, yeah, let me know. Let me know, and let me know if you have any any specific questions. Happy to go go through it. That's what uh, this webinar is all about. Okay. Um, anyway, uh, if you're new, uh, again, here's the two minute um, uh, intro video. Uh, they give you a good, nice little overview. And then there's the uh, features and components videos here. So you can get a feel for what Bookmap has to offer with all the features. Okay, a, a bit further down, uh, the order flow video snippets. These are um, videos that go through um, phenomena in the, uh, uh, the Bookmap advanced webinar that we hold. And that's actually going to be in about 20 minutes. Um, and um, these little snippets here, it's about two or three minutes long. They're, 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 not, they're not very long, uh, but they go through many of the, um, the concepts we go in the advanced uh, in, in more detail. Okay, so let me back up for a minute as well. Um, once you go into trial, uh, you will have access to the, uh, the Bookmap Advanced webinars. Now, we've made the distinction here uh, so that you can answer 
or if we can answer all of your questions uh, with the bookmap um, uh, platform details webinar and then those who are using bookmap and want more insight on how to use it then we have the um, the bookmap advanced uh, and it's only for those who are in trial or current customers all right so uh, and we go through a lot of the information that you see here uh, in the uh, in the order flow video snippets okay there's also a bookmap education course that's not about book map it's about order flow it's about these markets it's about auction market theory uh, volume profiles it's just market mechanics it's uh, it's about a lot of different things it'll give you a good overview of what's going on out there in the market okay and it's a good reference to always come back to and then these webinars here uh, you can access all the recordings here okay all right so let's jump in and take a look at book map uh, and um, Okay, so there's a lot going on here uh, in the chart, and uh, let's uh, let's go to oil here since uh, that was requested. Okay, all right, and let me uh, change my dots. I was looking at big volume dots yesterday. All right, that's a little bit better. <clears throat> okay, some nice exhaustion. I mean, uh, absorption down in this area here. Uh, complete rejection right back into the range and into the other side. This is something we go through in the book map advanced videos. Uh, or webinars, um, but um, uh, anyway, um, a really good example of it. So we'll, we'll cover that today. The um, uh, let's start off here. Uh, and what is Bookmap? It looks like there's a lot going on here. It's actually pretty clear and objective information. And uh, I'm going to uh, go through this uh, and just show you uh, layers of information. Okay, and what book map is showing you. So if you're new here, uh, you, you'll understand um, in about 10 minutes exactly what book map uh, is showing you. All right, so we're looking at a regular candlestick chart here in oil, uh, and it's a five minute candlestick chart. Okay, every vertical a dotted line here is 15 minutes, and then we have five, 10, 15 minutes of data with each five minute candlestick. It's open high, low close of that trading period, that five minute trading period. Okay, so now that's only four data points that you're looking at and you're making financial decisions. Most of us uh, have been have been trading the candlesticks uh, for quite a while, okay? It's only four data points and there's so much more going on here uh, that we are missing uh, that can give insight, tremendous insight uh, to a, a, a much better, um, uh, a probability for for a trade okay and let me um, let me let me cover that all right so for example where is the volume uh, we have no clue uh, where the volume is on this on this candlestick okay we have a volume sub chart that's good that that shows us the um, you know uh, the data here within a five minute period it's a little different here in book map and you know uh, but anyway it would be this would be a pretty pretty big uh, uh, volume spike right here on this candle where did the volume take place what type of volume was it what was it aggressive selling or was it aggressive buying uh, how much and um, uh, what about some of the other areas in that five minute period okay what about some of the little structures that were broken within this five minute period all of this information is not here right and that's a problem okay and bookmap solves that problem okay let's just turn on historical best bid and offer okay and here we go okay and let me zoom in i'm going to click on the hand tool hover over this little area and let's zoom in okay already just with that uh and and now it's uh we have five minutes between each vertical dotted line already i have microstructures that are starting to appear I'm starting to understand that uh, you know price came down here. It was kind of trading in a in a little bit of consolidation here. Quick move to the downside, uh, complete rejection of this area, right back into the range to the other side of this range here. Uh, we do get a retest, uh, and then it continued to the upside. Okay, these little structural areas here are going to give us a tremendous insight of what happened within this five minute period. All right, so let's turn on the volume dots. Here we go. Now we have an understanding of where the volume took place, what type of volume it is, uh, how much, uh, and um, 
uh, where where exactly is is the really the the, the key uh, and um, and how much? I mean, it's all important. Um, so anyway, let's uh, take a look here uh, and uh, zoom into this area, okay? Because what we're doing here is giving you the overall uh, in the um, uh, let me just bring down the dot size a little bit here, okay? And like this big uh, this big dot here or this big dot down here, let's just use the rollover tool. I'll click on that, hover over this area, and it gives me the data of uh, this specific area, okay? So it, I, get, I get the date, I get the time, and the time is down to the millisecond, okay? So that's important to know uh, it, 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 because we're giving you very specific times. Uh, and then what was on the ask here, you see there's 23 contracts on the ask, okay, uh, at 47.04 at that price here in crude, okay? And then we have the volume on the fourth line of text. So this was a lot of volume, a tremendous amount for oil, okay? 1,948, all right? And then that was at a VWAP of 47.04.3, all right, 0.043. Now, this volume dot is giving me the overall. I can see that basically about two thirds of it is selling and a third of it is uh, aggressive buying. Okay, a, a green a green area uh, is uh, uh, market buy and red is market sell. So let me hover over this area using the hand tool or the move tool. And I'm just gonna zoom in really quickly. I don't need to use the uh, zoom in and zoom out. You can if you like but you can just hover over and use your center mouse wheel and very quickly zoom into this area. Now notice, as I start to zoom in, I'm gonna be pulling apart, I'm, I'm expanding the timeline here and zooming into much lower time frames. And I have, uh, I've broken apart that big uh, uh, volume dot that had one third buying, two thirds selling. Now I'm getting very specific data and in, in, um, in detail here. Okay. I know exactly what occurred here uh, in this area. Let's look at the low, all right? Here's the low and here's what occurred, okay? So uh, here's your red dot and the green line is your historic, uh, yeah, this is the historical um, uh, best bid. Red is the historical best offer, okay? A red dot here is an aggressive market sell order, okay? They hit the bid. They took liquidity uh, off of the uh, the best offer. Okay, that's the way that we um, define the volume here uh, in Bookmap, and that's pretty pretty common. Uh, but uh, uh, there are that others that define it other ways. Now the uh, uh, the green dot that's an aggressive market buy. Okay, why aggressive? They they crossed the spread, they lifted the offer, uh, and the transaction uh, they paid up the spread and. Um, uh, the transaction occurred here on the best offer, right? So now you can see exactly what occurred here. We're down at millisecond level. Now I'm going to hover over this dot here for volume of 16, and let's see if it's made up of several little trades. And it is, okay, just three. Uh, but uh, uh, anyway, um, uh, you can see how uh, Bookmap is behaving here. Okay, we are giving you every single, and I can continue to zoom in. Look at our time frame now. We're down at millisecond level. We're looking at millions of seconds here, right? Our um, a complex event processor engine, uh, it, it, it can handle this data, okay? Uh, we're gonna give you every single event uh, within the uh, what we receive from the data provider, okay? Now, as I started, now most of us don't trade on these time frames, right? You, you, might, you may be if you are, are trading algorithmically. But now I'm gonna zoom out, okay? Just using my center mouse wheel. And note how uh, we're visually aggregating this and giving you the overall of what happened here, okay? In a bigger dot, okay? So uh, that's how we're handling the volume. And for this, you can see the pie display here. So you can understand that uh, now, you know, probably about two thirds of this, or maybe a little less, uh, was aggressive buying, and and a, a third uh, or a little bit more was a, aggressive uh, aggressive selling. So you get the overall delta uh, of that volume. Okay, this gives a lot of insight. Okay, so now we understand what type of volume took place here. 
uh, we're no, we know that these guys are going to be trapped. Okay, this is trapped volume. Okay, there's a lot of selling that took place down here. They they uh, they sold the breakdown here at 10:02, and they just got stuffed. Uh, you, you can see how uh, the aggressive uh, buying came in. Uh, they lifted the offer, uh, went sideways for a little bit, and then they got more aggressive here yet again. Okay, that's what occurred within this five-minute candlestick chart. All right, we have a lot of insight. Okay, in fact, I would be looking for, and let's we'll we'll scroll forward and we'll see. Uh, look at the aggressive buying that that took place here. Okay, this is initiated buying. Let's see if they come back and retest just down to maybe this area here and if there's still buyers in this market, okay? Because this is one of the things that you, in the candlestick you cannot see this, uh, but in bookmap you can because we have this microstructure here. It, it consolidated for a bit and then it, and then it, they lifted the offer very aggressively, okay? So let's, uh, let's zoom out a little bit. I'm just, I'm just curious myself. Almost right to it, okay? Maybe a tick or two lower, uh, a tick or two lower for sure. Okay, but this is where they initiated it. This is where they're going to support it, and you can see that. All right. Now this is what we cover more in the advanced, uh, but I want to give you some insight to what Bookmap is uh, showing you, and then how to start using this. All right, guys. Let me know if you have any questions because uh, you know a lot of you, I'm sure, uh, are looking at. Uh, uh, volume profile, market profile, uh, you know, maybe footprint charts. And Bookmap is similar to a footprint chart here in terms of volume. The one distinction, though, and this is a, a benefit uh, in Bookmap, is we don't aggregate the data, okay? All of this data here is going to be aggregated within a footprint chart. You're not going to see it, right? You're not going to see this little structure uh, because it's going to be aggregated within a time frame. So you're just going to see it just uh, more and more, you know, uh, well, here is going to be kind of sideways. You're not going to see the, the aggressive buying um, until here, really, uh, in your in your footprint chart. Okay. But we can see this little microstructure and the break and the support looking for a pullback to where it broke from. All right. All right. Well, I might be getting a little a little ahead of myself here. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of the um, uh, understanding of, of you know some of the things that we cover also in the uh, in the advanced webinar. All right. So um, uh, so that's the volume. Okay. Now that's good. Uh, but uh, let's let's cover uh, uh, something more here. Okay. What about the uh, uh, the depth of the uh, offer and the depth of the bid? Okay. Well, we go to a dome for that, and most of us are very accustomed to looking at a dome. Okay. So this is the dome and book map over here. Okay. All of the columns here that you see. Uh, let's just break it down. Uh, there's volume columns here. Okay. The chart range volume profile and a session range volume profile. Um, it's uh, just showing all the volume from the session or from this chart range. So if I zoom in this profile is going to change to reflect everything within this chart range. Okay, you can see where I'm going with this. You know, you can trade VWAP, this white line, to the VWAP down here, or you can look for exhaustion in some of these areas uh, and then look to be a buyer, et cetera. You, get, you have two different volume profiles to, to study. Anyway, let's get on to the um, current order book, the dome. Okay, here it is in book map. Best bid and offer right here. It's reflected in this window as well. Okay, dash green is the best bid, dashed offer is, or dash red is the best offer. This number is the last traded volume. All right, so we can see the numbers in here. Okay, this is your depth on the offer. These are sellers lining up at the specific price level uh, to uh, provide liquidity. They want to be sellers at these levels with limit orders. Okay, it's the same here. They want to be buyers down here on the bid, and they're providing liquidity at these specific price levels. Now, uh, reading the dome, uh, you, you're looking for majority. Uh, a lot of the times, uh, you know, how they're, how they're behaving. You notice how um, you can see that uh, we have pretty high liquidity that was here, just here at uh, 47.25. They're, now they're back, okay? So they're interested selling here at this area, okay? Buyers are currently taking them on. They're, they're challenging them. 
okay? Um, these numbers change all day long. And although it's good, it, it's really good, it's, it's, it's transparent to be able to see the uh, uh, limit orders here uh, in the dome and understand the uh, liquidity that is provided uh, in these, in this, uh, in, well, in the market, in the book. Uh, and um, the problem is that once these numbers change, there's no record of, uh, of what it was. Okay. We, we have no idea. Uh, it's, it's completely lost. And, and that's an issue here. Uh, and uh, a book map uh, will solve this issue by giving these numbers here a, a graphical uh, representation in this window. So let me turn that on and it's going to be done with the heat map. Okay. So that's the next level of data here. Okay. Nice, nice breakout here. N nice, nice move. We saw him take these guys on and they're, you know, we're looking for, well, looking for 40, 4740 here. Right. Uh, but above the, these swings up here for sure. And we're just about there at 35. Okay. Anyway, the, um, uh, the liquidity here uh, is uh, given this graphical representation. Look at them pressing un up underneath here with high high liquidity. Okay, so a little battle starting to shape up right here. Um, now, once those numbers change, that information is gone. Notice how in this window here, it's the same. Once the number changes, it, it's reflected here in the heat map, and it changes in its um, in its grayscale. Okay, and then then it's gone, right? Uh, it's just like the numbers. So you see the, these numbers, uh, uh, you know, the, the heat map changing all, all day long along with the numbers. Okay, where it gets interesting uh, is we take this data here and then we transpose it on the chart historically. Okay, so now if I zoom in a little bit, let's see that behavior. Okay, here's where they were pressing right in this little area right here with high liquidity. Okay, and we started to note this little battle shaping up right here between the the, uh, the bid and the offer. Okay, now we have insight not only to the traded volume and the transactions, but the uh, the intent of the traders uh, here uh, in the auction. Okay, and now instead of trying to memorize uh, all of these numbers here, uh, and um, uh, you know if how long they stayed in the book, what about the other areas around it? Uh, et cetera, uh, you know, uh, it's all recorded uh, and we can see, we can see they're pulling here. Note, note how we tested in this little area here and they pulled liquidity, price went away and they pulled again. Now price is up again and they're pulling and look at them getting aggressive here on the, uh, on the bid side. Okay. So uh, uh, now uh, we, we, we're getting this complete picture of where transactions are taking place as well as where they're bidding and offering. And we can start to understand the intent of these traders uh, by starting to read uh, uh, when price comes up to test them, okay? So we just got our test of 40, 47.40, right? And, and we were looking at that back here, okay? We're looking at first uh, 47.35 and then 47.40. Now, why did I know that? Okay, or, or why did I anticipate that? Uh, it's, it's just, it's really simple. Right? Here's the liquidity. It's a target. It, and the market knows it can trade up there. Okay, and there's a distinction here now. And this is where the subtlety uh, in, in starting to understand how to read uh, this information um, uh, is, uh, will give you the insight. This is longer term liquidity that stays in the book. They want to trade. The market knows it can trade up there, okay? And it came right to it and traded there. It, and then it sold off really fast, or right back down, okay? But um, uh, anyway, uh, understanding this longer term liquidity, these areas can act like targets, okay? As, uh, as you're trending upwards, uh, you know, the market can be valued here uh, uh, as, as a, uh, uh, an area where people are, are willing to to trade, uh, and uh, and that's exactly what occurred. Now completely rejected, okay. But um, uh, that that's uh, that's another story, and that's looking for uh, more uh, uh, you know other factors here. But what I want to cover before we uh, before I leave you guys, and I'll, I'll answer your question there, Glenn. 
Um, but um, uh, we saw that shorter term liquidity here. Remember how we, we saw these guys within this little area here and this area here, how they were uh, getting very aggressive uh, right underneath price, okay? We noticed that uh, in the book in, the, in, the, in real time. Uh, and um, uh, it's, it's basically, um, uh, you know, th there's an auction skew here of demand. Uh, and, uh, and price is, uh, is, is relating to that or reacting to it. And they're pulling liquidity here. So where can the market trade? Well, it can trade up here. And that's exactly where it went. All right. So anyway, let me um, get to your question here, Glenn. Um, it appears that you don't know if the longs or shorts are stuck until uh, after the fact. Um, um, okay. This is going to be, well, I mean, uh, up here... Yeah, let's cover this one here, all right? Okay, so it's true. You don't know. Um, you, you don't know until, um, well, I mean, you can get really aggressive. Uh, it, it depends, but um, it, it depends on how aggressive you really want to get, right? Uh, but uh, uh, originally, I mean, there's a, there's a process we go through, okay? And we want to see if we're going to reject or accept, okay? There, we'll see the liquidity give us clues to that. Okay, so uh, uh, usually you'll see the flip of the book. The high liquidity um, will will flip over on the other side here. Uh, they want they were buyers here. Now they want to be sellers. Usually you get more of a breakdown, and you don't get it into really really high liquidity like this. Uh, instead, this just completely rejected, uh, and then you see them, uh, uh, you know, really really lift the offer here. All right, so. Um, so looking for some of those things, um, you know, it, did they flip the book? No. Okay. Uh, and where did, where did this breakdown occur? Well, the, the real selling occurred right in this, yeah, right in this little area here. Okay. And um, uh, they usually looking for a trade back to that area. And if they support it here and they did not. Okay. That's another insight that we can see from that. Uh, and we can see instead a lot of green, uh, a lot of aggressive buying pulling it up and we break a microstructure, okay? This is, you know, this is a process that we go through that, you know, starting to put these pieces together, reading the tape and then uh, uh, reading the uh, the order flow. And uh, and you can see, like, um, you know, they didn't support it. Uh, there wasn't a lot of selling here. It was actually down here. Uh, and then look at the buying here that pulled it up and it starts to accept above that area. And then they hit it one more time. So you'd be, you're right, you'd be very aggressive to do that. But you do get some clues here uh, and some insight to that. Okay. Else, you, you'd be looking for, um, uh, you know, maybe a retest into this area here, okay, that we've identified. Now, still, looking at this candlestick chart, would you, would you see any of that? And uh, no, no, you wouldn't. All right. Anyway, guys, I got to I gotta run. Um, and um, uh, this is recorded. And uh, we will uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.